Hi, and welcome to this unboxing video of my Hexapod kit. This is the Robosol CR6 Hexapod, which I managed to get my friend who visited China to bring it back for me. But if you are interested, you can actually get it from AliExpress or eBay. Now this Hexapod comes with three options. The basic kit comes with the frame itself, the essential components and 18 servos. But if you are lucky, some sellers may throw in a spare servo for you. Mm, the second option comes with everything in the basic kit, but it includes a 20 channel servo controller and a PS2 wireless controller with its receiver. Uh, do know that they used to offer a 32 channel servo controller but now they have changed it to a 20 channel version. The last option is of course a fully assembled kit that you can just purchase and start playing with it. But hey, where's the fun in that right? Now I took the second option because I wanted to try to assemble it myself. On top of that, I bought additional 4 servos and an extra 32 channel servo controller just as a backup. So this is the box that I received. Uh, it weighs about 3 kgs. I just cut it open to prepare for this video. So let's check it out what's inside. As you can see, there are lots of bubble wrappers, so they have put in enough protection. This is the 32 channel servo controller. The cable for the controller. wire tube to make sure that the servo wire stays in place. This. this is the second servo controller. This is the 20 channel servo controller. This is the original one that comes with the kit. It's uh, black in color. Also comes with the USB cable. This looks like the tibia frames six of them the light polymer battery charger servo cables This is the wire holder, mm. also with the cables to the light polymer battery. Okay, and uh, these are all the servos. Okay. Now I noticed that this hexa pot uses a lot of M2 and M3 screws. I think I'll have a tough time sorting this out. So horns, these are plastic horns. Another pack of solo horns. This 
is the coxa frame okay, the frame for the coxa junction okay. six of them and this is the the drawing for the tibia okay six of them mm, not very sure is this and we'll figure it out later okay this is the this is the tibia frames. Oh, yeah, this is the tibia frames. Yeah. Two set of it. Twelve in total. Mm, this is the femur frames to hold the servos together so packed nicely this must be the PS2 controller let me try and get it out yep this is the PS2 controller okay feels normal mm, missing the sony sign so i don't think this is the original version okay. this is the receiver with nine cables properly color coded for the servo controller And here are the servos. Uh, these are the LDX218 servo. Okay, this is a digital servo. And uh, I was told that uh, this is the newer version that they provide. And the previous version was the LD2015 servo. And uh, they said that this servo doesn't require a bug chip. It has some advanced stuff that's inside so uh, we'll check it out later and uh, I should be having 23 of this uh, since I got the 19 servo package and I added in extra 4 so let me get them out is just at the bottom this is the frame of the hexa port some scratches here not not enough protection even though there's so much bubble wrapper and uh, that's it so I'm quite okay with the packaging although I hope that uh, I was hoping that they put a bit more protection some scratches here and there but then uh, here's the stash I'll get it sorted out and then uh, probably come up with a follow-up video so there you have it uh, robo 6 uh, robo soul cr6 hexapod kit hope you like it